Welcome to team member update number 29. It's been a, a great start to the year and there's lots of things going on all over the business. Let's start with the important stuff. Uh, Michael Box has had his next batch of holiday requests approved and he'll be away for a few days in January, February and March. Uh, there's a little bit of holiday for everybody remaining through the course of the holiday year, which is the end of March. So please request it via your general managers as soon as you can. The pack horse is in the thick of organising its 2018 calendar. Uh, there is lots of um, uh, events, including a monthly tasting dinner. There's a new breakfast and dinner menu. Valentine's, Mother's Day and Easter have all got draft menus flying around at the moment. Michael and Greg have been doing a great job um, plucking Woodcock to order for some uh, customers. And Paul Golding has currently um, come out of the uh, restaurant and bar at the Pack Horse and is split between housekeeping and central reservations for what will be the last bit of his uh, two-year academy management program. Kath, who was in the Pack Horse restaurant, has now moved to the Northgate Bar. And John has come from the White Horse into the Pack Horse to replace Kath. We're working with Vernon Blackmore, uh, a locally based uh, quality hospitality operator who's going to take over the direct running of the White Horse in what will be the next exciting chapter of the pub's history. It's great having a, a number of the team working across the Black Line, the Blackbirds and the Rupert Brook, and thank you all for your hard work and flexibility. The Rupert Brook has had a really steady start to the, the year. Calvin and Peter have joined the kitchen team, which is fantastic. And they'll be joined by Charlie Athorn, who starts as general manager uh, later this week. Charlie's going to be undertaking part of his uh, induction at the pack horse this weekend before setting foot into the Rupert Brook next week. A big welcome to Emily, John and Katie, who've joined the Rupert Brook front of house team. And hello again to Chilla, who's come back to, to rejoin us. Peter, I hope that your uh, bike fall yesterday hasn't resulted in a broken hand. I know you're getting that checked out this morning. I'll have my fingers crossed for you in case you can't cross your fingers. Philip will be making his way around to see you all before the month is out to discuss the three year plan that we have in place for the business and how you and your role fits into that. It's a great opportunity to ask some questions uh, of Philip and understand the longer term vision for the business. So please make sure you start thinking about that now. The Blackbirds is continuing its, uh, its upward spiral and great credit to, to Jamie and Lucy in allowing John to spend some time helping out the Rupert Brook. The kitchen team have been taking some holidays. So Elliot, Phil Skinner and Liam have all been supporting Carl in the kitchen. So thank you to all of you. As a, as a dog loving business, we positively encourage dogs and their owners to our venues and we've even got some dog menus on uh, in the business and occasionally Nick or Cherty, Lily or Philip will bring a, a dog or two uh, to the office. The question I'm posing this week is whose dog is the pied pooper that left a present on the boardroom carpet late last week? The Northgate is continuing to be extremely busy at the weekends with a little bit of respite during the week. We have a new menu coming out at the weekend and Ian is doing a tasting later this week. The cocktail list has also been refreshed with some great new additions to that offering. The Black Lion have had some great feedback on events recently including a birthday in the conservatory and the Georgian Club both dining last week. We've had all of the rooms sold on a couple of occasions recently, which has been fantastic. Um, all the pots that were smashed in the recent windy weather have been replaced thanks to Amanda and Brian. Nick is working on a new menu and is really enjoying having Liam and Natalie support his team. Well done to Max for making your first espresso martinis, great to see. And uh, we hope that you enjoyed drinking them, Kyle. Uh, finally, uh, I think Philip had plans to deliver this team member update, but his time has been taken up locally with a speed awareness course. Feel free to inquire uh, of him how this went, and when you next see him, maybe the, the best question uh, asked of him may win a, a, a day out at a, a racetrack or something similar. Have a great fortnight, guys, and we will catch up with you very soon. Thank you.